Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a short bonus to my earlier screencast about creating a blog with Django in 30 minutes. So as you must have noticed, our blog was fairly blonde and it did not have much of an appearance. So let's fix that. Uh, assume that you have a good friend who is a web designer and he has agreed to create a simple HTML5 template for you. So this is a simple template that I've created. Uh, it contains all your requirements. It has the links which we created for archives and feeds. It has custom fonts. It has fairly basic colors, a kind of minimalistic uh, appearance, some tags. It also has a short about about yourself and some social buttons. So under the hood, uh, as you must have noticed from the view source, that it is using HTML5 markup. Nothing fancy here. Uh, we are just using some HTML5 tags like heading, navigation, section, article, etc. So, uh, as you must have noticed, uh, the main trick here is to use a CSS file which is served from a subdirectory called static. So, uh, if we follow this naming convention, basically of uh, using a subdirectory called static, uh, Django makes it fairly easy for us uh, to actually create a fairly uh, good designed or a good uh, looking website. So, let's quickly see how that can be done. Uh, first, let's go to, uh, let's stop the server. Let's copy uh, from the artwork project basically which contains uh, as you can see uh, the directory of the artwork just contains the index a static folder the CSS files the image files let's copy uh, the entire static folder recursively uh, into our particular site so uh, now we have the static folder let's open settings in our Emacs and uh, let's add a particular variable in our settings called static files ters which is basically an absolute path inside a tuple so I'm just going to type out the entire absolute path to the static folder so that's it that's the only basic change I need to make and let's go back and run the server again so if you run the server you'll notice uh, this was our website as you must have remembered from our earlier web uh, uh, screencast let's go to the static main CSS page so it says that it cannot find it let's look at the name static files Okay, it should be plural, there's. Yep, so the CSS file is being served, so you can assume that all the other files associated with the CSS file would be served. Uh, now all you need to do is change, uh, just open the template file first, go to the artwork folder and uh, open the template file. So just overwrite your base template. Uh, the way we do that is go to our templates folder inside the blog application which is my site blog templates base I'll ask you if you want to write yes and uh, just remove the article uh, basically it, it would be marked separately by the designer as I've done here so all the way up to the end tag of the article I just delete and I just ensure that the block is mentioned properly here block content in this case let's end the block so once this is done hopefully uh, the appearance of your blog should have changed let's refresh it no so the reason this has not happened is probably the CSS is not correctly named yes so here it says dot uh, so we need to serve it from the root so once we are done that change wow so now your s website looks beautiful all the links are working the feed is working the post can be opened basically all the links work so now 
Uh, one small uh, feature that I'd like to add is a link somewhere over here to the admin page so that you can quickly go and edit the file if you have logged in. The way to do that is go back to the base.html file. Uh, let's look at the navigation links over here. Just let's add one more link with an if condition. Basically, if the user is staff and uh, let's end the if condition first and if uh, I'd like a URL over here which basically says show me the URL to the admin page and the notation for that is admin colon app list with the app label of your app which is in this case blog inside codes uh, we call this link admin. So once you've done that, you should be able to see a link called admin. Once you click that, uh, okay, um, let's just check app list, app label, blog. Oh, we forgot to close the tag. Yeah. So. Uh, Yes, so we are actually being taken to the post page. You can actually go and edit the post actually and go back and see the actual web page being modified. So, so with a few lines of code and a few minutes, we were able to modify our existing blog into a much more good looking blog. I hope you enjoyed the screencast. Thank you for watching.